Welcome to Working Smarter, Part 3. In Part 2, I described how the elements of the Seek, Sense, Share framework fit together. I will now explain these in a bit more detail. Once we've established some machine and human filters, we will need to do something with these new information and knowledge flows. When a new piece of information comes to our attention, we have to determine if it is important and urgent. But first, we have to check to see if it is valid. A good set of questions to ask ourselves is, one, does it make sense? Two, how does it fit? Three, are there any obvious biases? Four, is it based on evidence? And five, is anything missing? For example, a report may not cite any references to back up its claims, or an author may lack credibility in the field. The most important thing is to read the whole article or listen to the entire audio or video before coming to any conclusions or making any comments. Our information flows may create quite a list of things to further make sense of. We have to set aside time to file these for later retrieval or to add some values such as making comments, asking questions, or synthesizing the core ideas. This takes time and practice, but we can learn from others who are already practicing these methods. Look for people who are already good sense makers and ask what they do. We know that we're ready to share our knowledge when we can explain it simply. This often takes many attempts. Making ideas as simple as possible, but no more, takes time and practice. As French mathematician Blaise Pascal commented about a letter he wrote, I have made this longer than usual because I have not had time to make it shorter, he said. Brevity and clarity are skills to be developed over time. Sharing our knowledge is much more than publishing or posting our individual thoughts. As we try to make sense of some new information, we might seek feedback from our colleagues. This is why the makeup of our knowledge networks is so important, to get diverse perspectives for our own work. In our professional communities and work teams, we should set aside time to discuss new knowledge and ideas. This is how we make our network smarter. Finally, at some point, we may be ready to publish or promote something we have done, either internally or externally. Finding and sharing information and knowledge is a continuous flow based on curiosity and a desire to learn. Working smarter is built on a foundation of willing cooperation, open knowledge sharing, and being transparent in our work.